Hey, photographers, did you know that you could turn a series of back-to-back -back exposures like this into a simulated long exposure like this? Stick around to find out how. Greetings, time nerds, and welcome to Pro Photo Tips. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. Now, a while back, I recorded this video about how to use multiple exposure mode on your camera to simulate the effects of doing a long exposure. And a lot of people wrote in to say, hey, this is super cool, but how can I do it if I don't have multiple exposure mode on my camera? And of course the answer is, well, you can do it in Photoshop using the exact same idea. Just as a really quick recap, when you use a multiple exposure mode in your camera, you're averaging together a bunch of different shots to get the same look as a single long exposure. For example, six of these one sixth of a second shots averaged together in multiple exposure mode in the camera end up looking like this one second shot. So we're going to do the exact same thing here in Photoshop. We're going to average all these photos together to make it look like this. Now I'm going to show you an automatic way to do it. And then in the second part of the video, I'll show you a manual way. Uh, but before we get into it, you have to have the right source images to work with. Basically, you can do this with any sequence of shots, but they need to be shot on a tripod back to back to back with as short a gap as possible between the shots. Otherwise, you'll see weird spaces and gaps and things like that in your final image. For example, this sequence is 34 shots that I took the other day with my shutter release set to continuous, so the camera's just firing off shots as quickly as it can. You can see if I blow up the photos here that the clouds are moving a little bit from shot to shot, and that's perfect because when we average it together, in Photoshop to create this simulated long exposure, that's all gonna blend together to give us the motion that we're looking for. So these shots were all taken at a shutter speed of three seconds. So there's a little tiny bit of cloud motion in there already. Uh, but what the cool thing is when you use this averaging technique is it basically multiplies the number of shots you took by the duration of the shot. So here, all in all, I have 34 shots in this sequence, all at three seconds. So when I put them together in Photoshop, it's gonna look like 34 times three seconds or a final image of 102 seconds. So this is a simulation of what 102 second exposure will look like. So let's, I'm gonna show you the, the quick way of how to simulate this long exposure. And this is very, very straightforward. What you need to do is go to File, Scripts, then go down here to Load Files into Stack, and it'll bring up this little dialog box. Then what you do is browse and select all of the photos, wherever they are in your file manager that you have in this sequence. So I'm just gonna click on the last one, hold shift and click on the first one, then I'm gonna click OK. And it'll load them all up in this little box. And when it's done, it'll let you, you know, click on things and do stuff. Now you can attempt to automatically align source images if you want, but if you shot on a tripod, you shouldn't need to do that. That adds a huge amount of processing time to the image. So if you shot on a tripod, you don't need to worry about that and save yourself a lot of headache. If you didn't shoot on tripod, you can try it and see what kind of result you get, but it may be a little funky. Now, the other thing you do want to make sure is that you tick this Create Smart Object After Loading Layers button, and then just go ahead and click OK. So now what Photoshop will do is it'll bring in every single one of those photos. You can see it's loading that entire sequence of photos as a series of layers here in Photoshop. And when it's done, it's going to compress this entire stack of layers into a smart object. So it should be done here in just a second. There we go. So it's processing, 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 and there we go. So now it's put the entire stack of layers together as this one smart object. So the next thing you need to do is just go up here to layer, smart objects, and then slide down here towards the bottom to stack mode and click on mean. And what that'll do is, is it'll average together every single one of these shots to give you 
voila, our simulated long exposure of this 102 seconds. So that's super simple. That's a quick and automatic way to do this. Now, some of uh, the older versions of Photoshop might not have that load files as stack. It might not be able to group things as a smart object. You might not be able to change the stack mode of the smart object. So I'm gonna show you how to do this without using that automatic sequence. So I'll, let me close this and I'll close this one. And I wanted to start off doing the exact same thing. Go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And I'm going to load up the exact same sequence. Actually, since I'm doing this manually, I'm going to load up a smaller subset. So it'll be a little bit easier. Now, if you don't have the Load Files into Stack thing, that's fine. Just bring all the images into Photoshop and load them as layers. In this case, don't create that smart object. But instead, let Photoshop just stack up all the layers. And again, if you don't have that load object to stack script, just, just do this. Bring all the files in and stack them up as layers, just like that. Now here, what we're gonna do in order to average these photos together is play with the layer opacity. Now, what I like to do before I get into this is rename all the layers so it's a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom and go to the top here and rename these as the number of the layer. So I think in this case, I just brought in eight layers. So I'm going to have these renamed as one through eight. Now the trick to averaging things, averaging layers here in Photoshop is you take 100% opacity and you divide that by the number of the layer. And so you make each layer that amount of opacity. So for example, layer one, you divide 100% by one and you get 100%. Layer two, you divide 100% by two and you get 50%. So layer two is 50%. Layer three, you're going to divide 100% by three and you're going to get 33.3%. And you just go on as many layers as you have. It doesn't matter if you've got two layers, if you've got 20 layers, or if you've got 200 layers. This process is how you average them together here in Photoshop. So 100 over 6 is 16.666. We'll leave that. 100 over 7, I'm not going to do the math right now. It's like 14.28 or something like that. I forget exactly. And then 100 over 8 is, and when we reduce the opacity of this final layer to 12.5%, which is 100 divided by 8, now you're going to see boom, that simulated long exposure look. So let me bring up just the first image. As you can see, the clouds are all very well defined. And as soon as we start to average out the photos, you get that simulated motion as the clouds all blur together in this simulated long exposure. Now, the cool thing about using this Photoshop averaging technique as opposed to doing multiple exposures in the camera is there's absolutely no limit to the number of photos you can do. You can create super long exposures if you want. So, for example, I could have shot another 33 photos this night, and that would have added 99 seconds to my shot. Or I could just average together 10 of them to get a simulated 30 seconds. And you can do this as much as you want. You could take 10 back-to-back 30 second exposures, average them here in Photoshop, and you've got a 300 second simulated long exposure. So as you can see, there's a ton of flexibility. I hope you guys have a ton of fun playing with this technique. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. You can also join our newsletter for in-depth tutorials and be sure to check out this fun video as well. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.